You guys, I am so be. I went to my bank to buy euros because I'm going to Europe in like a week and I wanted to see if I could buy them for my bank instead of getting them at the airport. But they told me I just have to get them at the airport. I think I'm gonna go to the gym because I am dressed in my gym clothes and maybe do a little workout and see what I want to do next. All right, I'm out of the gym. I didn't do much. I did like a 10 minute ab workout. And then what I did was I went on um, the leg press machine and I did three sets of 15 at 140 pounds. And then I did treadmill for about 15 minutes just walking at a speed of three because i have not been into gym in a long time and the ab workout killed me <laughs> like honestly it was a 10 minute video but i think i only did like seven minutes because it was just a lot i could definitely feel it and it was like a good workout to follow but i just needed something a little bit more calm today so i adjusted my workouts as i needed to when i was like on the treadmill i was like darn it like i should have done some like arm workout type thing and the gym wasn't like too packed but it was just like too much for me like there was there's just like too many people even though it wasn't like crazy busy so i was just like yeah i don't think i'm gonna do that but normally I like to do, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the one machine where like you hold on to the bar and like you push up and stuff. And that one's really fun, but I didn't get to do it. I think since I didn't do it today, maybe I'll try to come to gym another time this week since I do pay for a gym membership. But I think overall, I'm happy that I pushed myself to be here, but my, because my brain has just been focused on things for like my classroom, which reminds me, I don't think I even told you guys I am officially a teacher. I'm gonna be a second grade teacher for the school year of 2023 to 2024. I am so excited for that whole process. I've toured the school already. I don't know which classroom is my classroom, but there is a board meeting tonight at the school, and I'm gonna try to ask the principal if they have decided who gets what room already. So that way maybe I can get a sneak peek. But I'm really excited for this whole process that I'm starting in my whole life. It really does feel like a new chapter. and I I cannot be more grateful for the people in my life supporting me for my classroom recently a lot of people bought stuff from my wish list which i can't wait to share with you guys in a video but i'm just so so thankful and so excited that the hard work i did in my college career will now be paying off and yeah also i don't know if i should be saying this but one of my friends from college we had a bunch of classes together because we were the same major she actually i didn't know this at the time i applied but she applied to be a teacher as well at the charter school i'll be teaching at and she just went in today for another interview and they told her she got hired as well um i know we won't be working on the same floor of the building just because i will be teaching second grade and she's gonna be with the littles but i am so 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 excited to have her as a co-worker um and as my teacher friend in the school so that's gonna be really exciting to do honestly and i cannot wait Sorry, I got awkward. Someone was walking by the car, so I got really silent. And another exciting piece of information, which I don't think I mentioned earlier. Yes, I'm going to Europe, I'm going to Portugal, and I'm pretty sure we're going to Madrid, Spain. Um, we did get like the Airbnbs, and I think my boyfriend got the flight to go from Portugal to Madrid, so I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to just eat some good food and spend some time with him. I'm, I've missed him so much. He's been doing an internship in Europe for a real estate company, and we try to face him as much as we can, but there is a five hour difference from where I am and from where he is. So although we try, sometimes I feel so bad because like i'll notice what time it is here and i'm like my goodness it's 6 p.m here that means that it's like 11 over there like why aren't you going to sleep but thankfully we've been able to manage and now there's only like a week left so i'm so excited i have everything packed up I'm just taking a carry on which is perfect because i gave him all the shoes i wanted to wear for that trip i already sent them with him and then in my carry on all i'm bringing is just clothing and all my toiletries and stuff i already sent with him as well and the ones i have on me are just like the little like travel size ones so i should be okay now that trip is from july 20th and then up until july july 30th and um when i come back from that trip like it'll be the 31st the next day 
So I'll still be in New York for that day, but I'm pretty sure my sister's gonna pick me up and we're gonna drive back down because that first week of August is when I get to start setting up my classroom and hopefully getting in there because that's what one of the principals said. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I just wanna share that good news with you guys. I haven't been as active, but it's because I've been worrying about that. Hopefully I'll be able to keep track of all the new things that are coming into my life for you guys through videos and share them with you. I came to the teacher section of this bookstore, which by the way is a used books a used book bookstore. <laughs> so basically it's like thrifting books, but they have the Wong Wong first days of school. But what the one I was really looking for was the first six weeks of school. And they don't have that one. So I will not be purchasing this book just because it seems very outdated. And even though it probably has the same content as like a newer edition it's fine because i really just want the other one but i was like wow this is such a great store i wish they just had the one i was looking for but everything is so organized i was looking for the section for like the longest too and fyi i used to come here all the time when i was younger but i haven't been in here in forever it's really funny to be back looking at this and this is just perfect so i'm gonna have to look through with these books that they have here because if they're all just one dollar i might have to cop a couple These are some of the books I found that I think I'm gonna purchase. This one for sure because it was on my Amazon wish list for $15. And here I'm getting it for a dollar and it is hard cover, so I'm so excited. I think I'm even out of breath just from seeing this. And of course, another second grade book. Someone did buy me one for my wish list, which I'm gonna read on the first day, but I can definitely read this in that first week as well. And then I'm getting this one because it's 25 cents and it's good to have a book for another classroom just in case I ever switch grades. I kept my eye out for Caldecott medal winners. So this book and this book, I don't, oh no, I was right. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't think it did but it did as well and i picked this one just because it's so funny so it's about like a student describing how their summer vacation was and of course he's lying about everything he did but it was so funny so i decided to get that one as well so i'm getting all these books for three dollars and 25 cents so definitely buy your books used, you guys because i'm looking at these and they're in excellent condition so i'm really excited about those so i was getting them already like at super cheap prices so them some of them were 25 cents and some of them were a dollar and when i went up there i had no idea that they were having a buy one get one free on their clearance books so a lot of them canceled out i think i only had seven if i would have known they had that i would have grabbed eight just to get my money's worth i had no idea they were doing that and i was so happy and i honestly grabbed books that i know i'm gonna use in my classroom or want in my classroom library look at this I had $5 ready in cash and I got back $3. There's only like $1.86, you guys. Like, this is so amazing. And I'm really hyped because that one book was on my Amazon wish list for $15. So I know throughout the year, I'll definitely stop by this bookstore and buy all my books used for my classroom because this is amazing. Now I'm thinking that I need to go home and update my classroom library Google Doc thing and I'll show you guys how I did that as well because my boyfriend showed me using AI, using ChatGPT I think it's called, so I'm really excited to show you that and update that.
Okay, I made it home, and on the way I stopped at McDonald's and got some fries because they were having free fries today. And then I wanted a McChicken, but I was like, no, I have everything at home to make it. So this is sweet Hawaiian bread. I didn't have any buns, so I used that. This is like the loaf type of sweet Hawaiian bread. And then I had my chicken patties, and I put mayo and lettuce and Animal Kitchen buffalo sauce on here as well. So I do like a little bit of buffalo sauce with my McChickens. And I'm so excited to eat it. And then Bev of choice is the Rosalia Zero Sugar Coke because we have a ton of those at my house. So I'm going to eat and check in with my boyfriend probably and see what he's up to. And then I'll get back to you guys and get started on that library. All right, guys, I ate, I talked to my boyfriend, and now I'm going to show you how I organize my library online. So yesterday when we were talking on the phone, I was telling him how I wanted to organize all my books into uh, sheets on Google Drive, I believe it's called. And he was telling me there was a way easier way to do it because I was doing it manually, typing in every last name, every title, every genre, etc. But he told me that if I use ChatGPT, which is an AI source, it would be able to do it for me and I would just have to copy and paste so I was like, you know what? All right, let's do this. Because I'm pretty old school when it comes to things, but I knew this was going to take me a while because I wasn't even sure how many books I owned. So as you can see, I created a sheet. So this was blank before. And what I did was that I knew I wanted to organize it by author, title, genre, grade level, ages, and notes. So I had initially had him show me how to do this, but even the AI can do this for you and you won't have to type it out. So let me show you what to do in the AI. On ChatGPT, all you do is that you go to the search bar, right? And then I typed in a simple command at first. So I just said, organize the following books by author, title, genre, age, and a small note about the book. So I had submitted that, but I actually didn't have to submit it yet. I had to write that, and then I had to include that I wanted something that I could copy into Excel. If you say Excel, it, it'll be able to copy into Sheets as well. But if you notice here, I wasn't specific about which books I wanted it to do, so it just kept doing like really popular classics so then i had to stop it from generating and it's like a button here that will say stop gener generating once you hit into the search bar if you look i added to the command i put earlier i added a list of the books i own that's the title i added it right next to it and i just put commas so that it knew i was talking about different books so at that point it generated for me this table now like i showed you earlier i did want to include the grades in there because i felt like that'd be useful information for me so like it gave me this one at first and then as it kept going i just kept asking it to add more things so i said add a column that says grade level and then it did that for me and it just kept going i kept thinking of things that i wanted it to do for me so then i didn't like that it was by organized by first name alphabetically i wanted it to be by last name and i wanted to make sure that the grade level was on the right side of genre so I wanted it to fix that. So it fixed that for me, but then it organized it by last name, but the first name was still in front of the last name of the author. So I asked it another question. I said, organized by last name, comma, first name. So I was very specific about what I wanted. After that command, it had basically done everything I needed it to do. And here was my updated list. Now today, as you guys saw, I did get new books which I have right here next to me. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna type it in to ChatGPT. I'm gonna say add books, and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did earlier. So boom, I added the titles of the books I had next to me, and I just said add books, all the books I got today, to put this right here so it knows when the book starts. And then once I hit Whoa. this little green button right here, sorry about how dirty, my laptop is once i hit that little button it'll send the command and then here it is typing it up so the chat gpt is gonna generate that whole list the same one from yesterday plus the ones that i added so i just did that and i let it generate and i noticed that the books that i just added were all added to the bottom so i'm gonna copy and paste those and just add them on to my sheets because after it's there i can actually also just hit a button on there that says sort by alphabetical order and since the last name is first it'll just move those to where they need to be 
So here I am. I highlighted those books. As you can see, for the one book, it didn't have which author, but I can easily fix that and type it out myself. No need to ask the GPT to do that for me. So here are the books. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And they all have descriptions, grade levels, and ages. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to close the GPT. I went down to the bottom of my list, and you just have to click the one box. You don't need to click them all. And I'm going to paste... And as you can see in my other ones, it doesn't continue on, but in this one it is. So to fix that, all you need to do is go to format and it's go to wrapping. And then right now it's an overflow, but I want it to wrap. So I'm going to hit wrap and there it is. It's all fixed up. And then right here, you can see that um, it's not organized anymore alphabetically. So if I go here and if you couldn't see that, let me just do it one more time by going to the top just so you can see. Oh. What am I doing? Okay, so if we go here, you can actually hit sort A through Z. You can do it the other way, and then it will get sorted for you. So now I can see that my book amount has updated. Now I have 36 books before I had 29. They're no longer at the bottom. They all just got sorted into thing and i have to fix this one because this one says new author, but it obviously has an author to it. And now I am all done. So I added that author and I hit sort and then it sorted it out again by alphabetical order. I really like this idea to have and just to continue using because it'll help me keep track of what books I already own. And if any other teacher or literally anybody else ever comes up to me and says, hey, do you want this book? Do you have it already? I can easily just look at the list and let them know. And since I'm just starting out with my book collection and I've never had one before, it was super easy to do this and I really recommend this for any teacher that's starting out as a first year teacher or if you're in college studying for education and you're already building your book collection, which is awesome, please do this so that you know everything that you have. And the AI is just so amazing to use because look at the little notes that it wrote for me. All right, guys, that is how you do it. I really suggest that you try this out if you're a new teacher or you plan to be a teacher at some point i do have to start getting ready to go to that board meeting though and fingers crossed that they tell me which classroom will be my classroom and hopefully i get to see it and take a couple pictures to show you guys as well in my bathroom i almost forgot to film an outro to this video i also wanted to let you guys know that unfortunately i did not get to see a future classroom they're still deciding who gets what classroom and they're trying to get the grade levels as close to each other as they can be so they're there will be another second grade teacher though. I haven't met her, but I'm so excited to. And the board meeting went so good. I felt so welcomed into the team and I was able to hear about some of their test scores and how things went last year and like what their budgets are looking like for the school that I'm at this year. So I'm very excited about that. And there was also some talks about getting the students new Chromebooks, which is exciting, um, but we will see how that develops in the future. I just wanted to say, I hope you guys have a great day or a great rest of your week um it's nighttime here so i'm i literally just took out my contacts and then i'm gonna go to sleep but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully i will have more school stuff up soon bye